guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a really fun unboxing. Um, I love doing subscription box unboxings. I wish I could do more of them. Um, honestly, they're one of my favorite videos to film and I love watching them too. I just think they're so exciting. It's like watching someone unwrap presents on Christmas. It's so fun. So anyway, today we are doing FabFitFun Summer Edition. I am so excited because I have not watched any spoilers. I haven't been looking. I've been trying not to see anything about this box so I can be totally surprised. So I have no idea what's going to be in here and I can't wait to see. If you guys don't know about FabFitFun, I'll just tell you real quick about them. So they are a seasonal subscription. So, so they do send out boxes four times a year at the beginning of each season. So right here I have my summer box. They also do a spring, fall, and winter box. And it is a lifestyle and like beauty box. So they do have, you know, they do have makeup and skincare in there sometimes, but they also have lifestyle stuff. Um, for example, last month I got a really nice bathrobe, which I'm taking with me to the hospital when the baby's born um, and they also sent like a thermos and things like that so um, I love that it's a combination of a lot of different things sometimes I notice with makeup subscription boxes you can get like either the same brand constantly or sometimes even duplicate items if you've been subscribed for a while so I feel like because this is such a variety of products in this box that um, repeats are less likely to happen um, so like I said it is quarterly it is $49.99 each box and it is supposed to have over a $200 value per box. So I was really, really impressed with my box last month. I had done another box about two years ago and I didn't really like that box so I decided not to continue getting it. Um, but since then I feel like they've really stepped up their game. Last month they sent me a box for free to review and this box they did send for free to review as well. Um, but I'm really enjoying the subscription and it's something I would definitely consider signing up for in the future. I'm really excited that they sent this to me. Thank you FabFitFun so that I could share it with you guys today. But let's see what's inside. I can't wait to see. Oh, one last thing. I do have a coupon code for you guys, which I'll put on the screen right here. It'll also be down in the description box to save you some money if you are new to FabFitFun and you want to sign up and get a box for yourself. Make sure to use that code. I don't get anything for it, but you guys will save some money if you do that. Uh, one of the things about FabFitFun as well is that they do have different options, which is really nice. And they send you this little catalog that goes through what the options were. So I, I don't want to peek too much, but it tells you what is in the box and it shows you what your three different options were. So um, most of the products you get three different options. There are like a cup, I think they do like two or three products in each box that are everyone gets that product, but there's so much opportunity to customize your box. I think it is so awesome. So in case, you know, Let's say you got, uh, like last month, if you didn't want the bathrobe that I received, you could have picked from two other items instead of that. So I love that. I think that's a really awesome thing that they do. Got some just advertising in here. And let's break into it. I can't wait to see what's inside. This is kind of heavy, but I'll try to hold it up for you guys. It's always beautifully wrapped. Oh my goodness, there's so much I don't know where to begin. Ah, I see some fun stuff that I'm really excited about already. Okay, let's just start here. So this is from the brand Grace and Stella. It's called the Spray All Day Rose Spray. I've actually not heard of this brand. Oh man, last month the catalog was much easier to see what the different options were. They kind of changed the layout and I'm having a hard time now finding this. This must be the mystery item because I don't see it on the list of options, but there is a mystery item. It says that is a $24 value. So that must be what this is. Anyway, it is a facial setting spray, it says, or a hydrating rose spray. Let's open it up. I don't know anything about this brand. If you guys have tried anything from this brand, let me know if you know where it's sold or anything about it. Oh, it's very beautiful. That's what it looks like. I kind of want to put this on my bathroom counter instead since it's a hydrating facial spray and I have way too many facial sprays at my makeup table right now, but let's try it out. I wonder if it smells good. I didn't actually use the spray yet today. Well, the sprayer is a little intense, so, you know, sometimes the first time you use a facial spray, though, that can happen where it comes out a little intense. So I feel like this half of my face is very wet, and this one is not so much, but um, it does smell nice. It has that rose scent, just like it says. So, awesome. That's the first thing that came in the box. Okay, next, I got this from I Ico. It is the uh, Eye Duo Liquid Eyeliner Line and Enhance. 
in the shade black, so that's exciting. I can always use another uh, liquid liner. I go through liquid liner like crazy. So this looks like it was one of the option number four. So for option number four, you could have gotten this Ico eyeliner, which is a $22 value, or you could have chose to get, I'll try to insert photos here for you guys, the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. I'm actually really glad I did not get that because I don't usually use a styling cream on my straight hair. Or a mystery item. Oh, so maybe that wasn't the mystery item. I just can't find that Grace and Stella on here. We'll have to come to that, <laughs> come back to that. But okay, so this one does have a $22 value. All right, what's next? So next we have, this here is from the brand Generation Clay. It's called the Brightening Purple Clay Mask. That's what it looks like. Really super cute, another mask. You guys know I love my masks. I just finished my May mask challenge. I love using masks. This is another brand I'm not familiar with, Generation Clay. If you guys have tried it, let me know. Let me see if I can find it on here. Oh, there's a second page. That's why I couldn't find anything. Lisa, get it together. Okay, so this was from option uh, number seven. Okay, so this is a not an option. This is item number seven. They did not have options on this. Everyone is getting one of these. It's $39 value. And the Grace and Stella, if I would have looked a little harder and turned the page, this actually is uh, item number eight. Again, no options on this one. And this was a $26 value for this one. Okay, there we go. Mystery solved. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of skincare in here. It's like all skincare, you guys. Okay, next, this is from the brand Intelligent Nutrients. It says it's a plant stem cell science refining micro polish. Okay, so it's an exfoliator. So it's an exfoliator. It's like a micro polish, they say. So that should be interesting. Again, another brand I'm not familiar with. Quite a bit of new brands in this box. Um, so this one is from option number five. There were options on this one. This has a $57 value. That seems very high. It must be a really good brand. Um, the other options that you could have got this month is the Kula Organic SPF Makeup Setting Sunscreen Spray or the Dr. Rogers Restore, Restore Healing Balm, which is a multitasking uh, all natural soothing balm. So those were the different options for option number five. Okay, more skincare. This is like the box of skincare. In fact, I don't see like anything lifestyle in here. It's like all skincare this month. Um, okay, so this one is from the brand, oh, here we go. This is from the brand Wish. It's an exfoliating foot mask. Oh, I need that actually. I don't think my camera is gonna focus on this because it's too reflective. So let me take the inner packaging out. So this is what the tube looks like. There we go. So this is the exfoliating foot scrub. Okay, and this is another item that everyone is going to get. This is the item number th uh, number nine. It has a $32 value, so that's awesome. I actually, heading into summer, I think that's a perfect thing to have in a summer box is an exfoliating foot uh, product because, because I personally know I need uh, to get my feet sandal ready still. So. so there were other options in here that are more lifestyle, but I somehow got like the skincare box. Everything I got is skincare. Okay, so next I got this 111 skin. It's the Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask, and it looks like there are five of them in here. So these are individually wrapped sheet masks from the brand 111 Skin, another skincare brand that I have never heard of. So this is from option number two. You could have received this set, which holy smokes, it says it has $160 value for just this set of masks. That's crazy. Wow. Uh, again, I, I need to look up this brand because I haven't heard anything about it. But so yeah, $160 value for just this box of, of facial masks. That's crazy. Um, the other options that you could have received instead would have been the West Elm Indigo Tie Dye Bowls or the Summer and Rose Navy Diamond Tote Bag. Oh, and then there was a fourth option on this, which was the Sienna Black Felt Letterboard. Okay, so there were a few different options. Um, it looks like my option was like by far the most expensive of the four. So that's kind of cool. Okay, next up, I did get a set of Invisibobbles. 
I have used these before. I really like them. In fact, I might throw one in my hospital bag, but um, these, I'm sure you guys know what these are. They're just like little hair ties. This looks like something everyone's getting in their box as well. It's for item number six, and it is a $16 value. Okay, so next up, I got this set from Sol de Janeiro, which I'm excited about, even though I already have both of these items in my collection. I really love these products, so it's nice to have a backup. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazil Brazilian four plate moisturizing shower gel, which I really love. And then the travel size of the Brazilian boot. Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, which I have a full size and a travel size of this already, but I love it so much. I could have a million backups and I'd be totally okay with that. So um, this was from the option number one. So it looks like this set here has a retail value of $45. And the other options that you could have received was the Sutra Professional Mini Travel Blow Dryer. Okay. Uh, also, you could have received the Vix Paula Harmony Lotus Towel, or you could have received the Spiritual Gangster Maya Kimono. So, a few different options there. So, there actually was a lot of lifestyle stuff in this as options this month. I just didn't get any. Okay, so this is the only like non-skincare item I received, which is um, some jewelry from Jennifer Zuner. Okay, so it is just a very uh, simple... All right, so here's the necklace from Jennifer Zuner. I hope I said that right, Zuner. Um, this is just like a delicate gold chain necklace. It has like a couple little heart details on it, uh, but the back that you guys can't see is just a gold chain. So it's pretty simple. Honestly, um, it says it has a $50 value, but when I'm feeling this chain, it does feel very inexpensive. Um, you know, you can tell the difference between a quality chain and a, and a cheaper chain. It just feels really flimsy. It feels like it could break easily. Um, it does not feel like good quality. So I'm really surprised that it says it has a $50 value. I'm not sure. If you guys got this one, let me know what you think. Let me know if you also feel the same way or if you feel like this is a higher quality piece. I mean, I haven't taken it out of its packaging, but just feeling the, the chain itself, it feels like it's going to break pretty easily. Um, so that one, like I said, $50 value. That was um, the option number three from the box. So the other things you could have received instead is the uh, Burn 60 Resistance Bands, a little set of resistant bands, or the, I don't know how to say this, Odomi What a Pair set of two silicone wine glasses. Silicone wine glasses, that sounds interesting. Um, and those would have been a $25 value. Okay, so let's recap the box real quick and I'll let you guys know my thoughts. So let's start with the one non-skincare thing that I got, which is this uh, necklace here. Um, I definitely could have done without this necklace. I probably would have picked one of the other two options. Um, I'm not sure which one. I, I probably would have picked the wine glasses actually because I do already have a set of resistance bands. Yeah, I, I could have done without the necklace. I'll probably give it to my daughter. She really likes jewelry. Uh, next, oh, these were not skincare. So I do have the set of Invisibobbles, which again, this was something everybody got. It's definitely a something that's useful, so I know I will use that. And then the Sol de Janeiro, I probably would not have picked this set here um, just because I already have both of these in my collection. But like I said, I'll still use them because I do love these products and it's nice to have backups. I'm just trying not to keep as many backups in my house, but because it's something I love so much, I don't mind it. But um, had I been given a choice, I probably would have picked, I don't know, I probably would have picked that kimono. I think it's super cute. So that would probably have been my choice, but I'm still excited that I got these and I will still use them. That's the trick. When you're looking at subscription boxes and whether they're worth it, it's like, will you actually use the products you got in the box? Okay, and then I did also receive this eyeliner, which the eyeliner, which the eyeliner out of the options here is probably what I would have picked because I wouldn't have wanted to get the Living Proof Styling Cream and a mystery item. You just never know what you're going to get. So I probably would have picked this liner because I always could use another black eyeliner. You know, actually, uh, looking at this, I got, even though I got all skincare, I got some really expensive items compared to what was available. So this, um, this one here, which is the Refining Micro Polish, this by far was the most expensive option on this line as well for the uh, fifth product. But I think I probably would have picked the Kula uh, Makeup Setting Spray because I, I personally don't like using 
um, exfoliating products that have uh, beads in them. I feel like they're a little harsh on my skin. They're not great for the environment. So I usually try to avoid these type and I go for like a, um, like a chemical exfoliant. So, or like a peeling gel kind of product. So I probably wouldn't have picked this, although it is, like I said, the most expensive option, but the Kula Organic SPF Setting Spray, I would have liked to try that and compare it to my Kate Somerville Makeup Setting Spray with an SPF because um, I could always use a little cheaper option. I think it's about, looks like it's about $15 less than what I pay for my Kate Somerville one. So um, that's probably what I would have picked, although I, I'll try this. I definitely will try it. Okay, and then I am excited about this foot mask. Again, this is one of the items that didn't have options, but I'm actually really excited this was in the box and I definitely will be using it. And then same with this one. This uh, Generation Clay was another item that you didn't have options on. However, I'm excited to try it. It's an ultra ultra violet brightening purple clay mask. So, I mean, what do you not love about that? Purple's my favorite color. I love masking. I love brightening masks as well. So I definitely will be using that. And then this also did not have different options, the Grace and Stella spray all day. Um, I will use this. I definitely will. It's just, I do have a lot of uh, facial sprays already. So um, it's not something I was super excited about, but I hopefully will get some use out of this product as well. And then I saved this for last to the big expensive boy because I don't know how I feel about this the fact that it is a hundred and sixty dollar value for five sheet masks means that it must be I don't know I'm assuming that it has to be extremely high quality for them to charge that much for this mask so I really want to look up this brand and get some more information about it and why the heck it is so expensive um, but I'm excited that I did get this item. I'm thinking if I had been able to choose, I I don't know. Even though this is the most expensive item, the bowls were cute. I might have gone for the bowls, honestly, even though they're like a third of the value of this. Value, you know, retail value doesn't always give you actual value, you know? It's like, how much are you gonna use it? That's where the value is. So anyway, I will use those though. Don't get me wrong, I am definitely gonna utilize those. Um, maybe I'll, because there's five in here, maybe I'll put a couple aside for you guys in a giveaway. Um, but that's just a crazy price, so I need to look up that brand and find out more about it. But anyway, that's it for my FabFitFun unboxing today. Um, I'm really excited. I love skincare, so it is fun to get skincare. I just found it a little weird that I didn't get any, like after telling you guys how great it is to have a variety of products, I got all skincare, pretty much. Um, but anyways, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you are subscribed to FabFitFun, what did you get in your box? What was your favorite thing? What did you think of my box and the options they sent to me? Because they send it to me, I don't get to pick, so that's, I think it makes it a little bit more fun, Anyway, that's it for this video. I thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe while you're here. It means a lot to me. And give this video a thumbs up if you have not already. It helps me out so much and I appreciate every single one of you. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.